Hello beautiful people, so I tried to make this video short, but I just felt it was important to mention that today we have two very important uh, transits happening at the same time. So we had Venus, now newly in the sign of Gemini, uh, made a trine to Pluto in Aquarius. And this is a very powerful connection, uh, Venus in Gemini uh, and Pluto in uh, Aquarius. It's a beautiful, harmonious aspect. Uh, so people might be feeling more optimistic uh, in regards to where they head in. And at the same time, we also had a Sun-Jupiter conjunction in Aries today, which again is a beautiful... Uh, meeting of two, well, the luminary sun, our essence, uh, our power, and Jupiter, who is the uh, greatest benefactor. So these two meeting together in the sign of Aries is all telling us about the new beginnings. And um, from the evolutionary astrology point of view, uh, Jupiter um, and Sagittarius archetype represents our belief systems. Uh, so today, when Sun uh, conjuncted Jupiter, uh, there could be a new realizations. Uh, we might have... Uh, we ha might have a new understanding of uh, what has been perhaps holding us back uh, and also realizations of uh, some new truth, uh, new perception of reality we want to take uh, forward with ourselves or perhaps we are completely shifting uh, what we've believed until this point and what we want to let go of uh, because it no longer supports our vision for the future because also... Um, Jupiter is our vision. It's uh, it's what we want to create, like this new direction of reality. So these two aspects that are happening at uh, at the moment today are very supportive aspects to help us uh, towards this new direction, which are which we are all heading towards uh, and all part of, of course with. Um, Pluto in the sign of Aquarius, which is happening only very briefly this year, but from next year onward for 20 years cycle, we'll have uh, Pluto accelerating this process of uh, empowerment, individuation of us truly becoming who we came here to become and following our path and everything else that's happening in the sky at the moment is supporting this process uh, because when we look at Jupiter and Sun being in a sign of Aries we look at the ruler who is Mars Mars rules Aries and Mars as we might be aware is currently transiting through the sign of Cancer uh, so Mars is like this sword trying to cut through all these old identities that no longer serve us is literally it tries to help us understand what out of how we labeled or identify ourselves until this point uh, just doesn't serve us anymore or we don't want to be um, naming ourselves by these labels or following this identification so Mars is giving us an opportunity to go within to um, to think about how does this feel for us like is this label that I called myself by all my life, this part of my identity, ego identity, is this who I still am? And if not, let's take the sword and cut it out. Let's cut it out from from how we identify ourselves. So that's what's happening with um, Mars. As we know, this transit um, has been ongoing now for a few weeks. And uh, then as Venus just entered the sign of Gemini yesterday, which I spoken about very briefly on my Instagram, Venus is Gemi in Gemini is very chatty. She's gonna tr she's gonna try to you know see all her options and think about talk about what is actually important to her. And actually, she just had a, a transit through Taurus where she's in rulership. That's her home sign, and she felt very comfortable there. So she was like, okay, well, this is what feels good to me, and she might have connected again to this is valuable to me this is what's important to me this is how i feel about this aspect of my reality and also having a little maybe inner work where she thought about okay well how much do i give to myself and now venus going into the sign of gemini she's gonna see like okay well i figure out what is important to me now how am i going to go and get it maybe i need to learn something maybe i need to buy something because mercury is also about commercial um, communications interactions and stuff like that so yeah and venus just making a very harmonious 
a sign to Pluto, Pluto in Aquarius is giving us this initial flavor about what still needs to be faced in our current realities that is making us feel limited and disempowered and what we want to shake off and break ourselves free of in order to be to be following this this new direction this this life where we want to be authentic and be truly recognized for who we are so these two communicating today venus in gemini and pluto uh, in the sign of aquarius uh, venus is passing on the message to pluto like well I figured out now this is important to me, I am out here to talk about it, I am out here to identify what it is that I want and how am I going to get it because now I know, now I feel what is important to me and I know I deserve and also the ruler of Gemini, Mercury, as I also mentioned in my video yesterday, is in Taurus, so Venus and Mercury are having what we call mutual reception. And Mercury currently is forcing each and every single one, uh, one of us to go within and to have an inner dialogue in regards to, you know, do we actually give to ourselves what's important to, uh, to us? How do we think about ourselves? Do, do we see ourselves valuable? Do we see ourselves, see ourselves as deserving? And this is again part of this identity. This is what I th thought I was. This is who I thought I was. But is this still me? And now based on what I'm discovering, don't I think I deserve more? And Venus now in Gemini goes, of course you do. There are all these options. You know, Gemini is very mutable. It's very lighthearted, very young energy. It's like, you know, like the time of Gemini is, of course, May. So like the spring is like in the full bloom. It's just about to turn into summer. So it's all this optimistic uh, feeling of like summer is coming and let's just have fun and enjoy ourselves. So Venus here in, uh, in the sign of Gemini is like, well, guys, let's lighten things up a little bit. And she passes on the message to Pluto who who is like working really hard to help us understand that you know guys you don't have to be slaves you can just be free and enjoy life but of course this is uh, different for, for, for each and every single one of us so that's why Venus plays such an imperative role this uh, this year because the the core uh, building block to everything is to discover your value discover what you actually need and what you value in your life and this is different from for each and every, every single one of us like we of course we all have these essential needs that we need to eat and we need to sleep and we need to um you know like this essential thing drink water and be warm and stuff like that we need shelter but then we as individuals um you know is this physical incarnation we have bodies and you know we perceive reality in a different way uh, this also impacts what we find valuable. So, you know, what matters to one person might not matter to the other and vice versa and stuff like that. So to recognize this, what actually mattered to us, each and every single one of us individually on a core level, uh, it's then helping us to to go after it and to make adjustments in our life where these needs could be fulfilled. Because I, I believe it was Till Swan she mentioned in one of her videos, she said that if we live in accordance with our values, we can take on any amount of suffering. Even, even suffering is bearable as long as this suffering uh, is still in, you know, in, in congruence, if it's still happening at the same time as us living life that is in accordance with our values so for example if we are following our dreams and you know like uh, i would say like actors for example you know if this is like so valuable to them so important to them they want to be up on a stage they want to do these uh, jobs and they feel themselves recognized and validated and they make them happy so you know part of that is losing their um, privacy right and that i'm sure for many of them creates a lot of suffering but if it's happening at the same time, whereas it's allowing them to live life in accordance with their values, so if this need for recognition, need for being seen on a stage, need for playing all these different roles, uh, need for wealth and um, you know fame and stuff like that, if all that is very valuable to, to them and they see that as important in their life, then losing privacy and uh, having uh, paparazzi hustling them, it's worth it. 
it might not be worth it to someone else because they might have a completely different values, right? For them being famous and, you know, on the stage and in a movies, it, it might not be important, right? And this is why it's so important for each and every single one of us to do this inner work where we recognize what it is for me, what matters to me, and uh, cut away this conditioning of what other people tell you that you should need or you should want or what is important to you. And this is what Mercury, currently in the sign of Taurus, it's helping us to identify. And this is why Venus now in a Gemini, she's out there to identify it. She's out there to label it, to point the finger like, okay, so it's important for me to, to have this thing in my life, right? So now she's going to find out, okay, in order to have this thing in my life, I don't know, like, for example, I want blue dress, right? I want a blue dress. I like blue dresses. I like turquoise dresses, actually, in my you know personal case so i need to go to the shop and i need to go and find it right so you know so this is how i'm going to identify it and then i need to find out how much it costs and you know can i can i part with this you know cash or whatever so this is how it works so now venus know what she wants so she's gonna go out there identify it and then make this transaction and then in the same uh, way, she is making this positive as aspect to Pluto, who is in Aquarius. And he say, OK, well, it's important for you to figure out who you are and how you want to show up in this world. Because, you know, if you are living life that is inauthentic, it makes you feel disempowered because it makes you feel that, you know, I, I'm, what is this? What is the point of this life? Right. If I can't even show up as myself and, you know, live life in accordance to who I am and what is important to me. So all this is in a communication. And at the same time, as mentioned, we have a sun conjuncting Jupiter, which is all about our belief systems. So it's all this as more and more people are probably discovering that a lot of things that we were taught and uh, told throughout our lives are not even truth right so jupiter is all about this like uh, you know we learned some information which is this gemini archetype you know like we label and we learn you know we learn like we, we gather information we receive an information from you know newspaper television whatever these books and then we pass it through our internal process where we actually identify is this true for me is this true for me? And if it is, or, uh, you know, if, or does this resonate with me? And then based on that, we create a different uh, outlook on life because we have this new knowledge. And now we go like, okay, well, that's changing uh, what I knew before. So that's obviously shifting a perception of reality I have right now. So this is now my new truth. So what this sun in conjunction with Jupiter is doing, it's actually illuminating this... Uh, belief systems, this truth, these things that we hold as, uh, you know, as something that we followed throughout our life, it's pointing the light to it, you know, shining the light, like the torch in the dark, and it's saying, is this still truth for you, you know, or there is this new beginning that we are all, all heading towards because it's all happening in Aries still. As we know, Aries is the first sign of the zodiac. It's the spring, you know, it's the everything is in the full bloom. You know, we just had the equinox. We just have this new energy streaming in saying that it's time for a new cycle to begin. And this sun now currently still in Aries it's going through this, you know, through this airy sign and saying, gathering, you know, like highlighting, illuminating all these areas which say, okay, so you want to go into this new direction, follow this new path in your life. Of course, we had Venus, Mercury already gone through the sign of Aries, so it already was like thought about and felt through, like, uh, you know, what do I want to bring into this new direction? And now Sun is illuminating it, and now Sun is meeting with uh, Jupiter, and it's saying, okay, so are these belief systems, are these truths, are these, you know, your your outlook on life, is this what you want to take into this new direction with you? Yes or not? And this is uh, this is an opportunity for a new beginning in regards to what 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 we believe as important to us. And uh, as mentioned in my previous video, conjunction is about endings and new beginnings. So this is inviting us to perhaps 
maybe reconsider, you know, like these things that we believed all our lives that brought us to this point that we were maybe told, but never questioned. And now perhaps we are questioning them with this Mercury going through the sign of Taurus. We having all these internal dialogues, you know, it's going through our sensory experience, through our body. We're trying to feel it in ourselves. Like, how does this feel for me? Does this feel that it's still me or not? And do I want to feel this way going forward? And if I don't, what do I need to change? How in a different way I need to look at situation or perhaps how I need to change the way I think or how I even think about myself, you know, going forward. So this is another things that happening today. And uh, all these are more layers, more building blocks that are supporting us on this new uh, path towards this new age of Aquarius, where we are all invited to actually crack this shell, this, uh, these masks that we created and that's been, you know, like perhaps even passed on to us from previous generations and is inviting us to do all this, all this um, inventory where we actually recognizing, is this still me? Is this what I need? Are these the people that I want to be around? Do they resonate with me? Is this what I believe? Uh, and, uh, you know, is this be the belief that is, is actually uh, holding me back or that is supporting me? How does this make me feel? It's all about how does it feel in your body. With this Mercury in Taurus, it's all yin energy, receptive. Uh, Taurus is your sen senses, five senses. So you, you run it through your system and you feel. You feel, how does this feel for me? Like, and, and that's, with, you know, with all of it happening at the moment, we're running it through our uh, internal system, through, through our, and then Venus now being in a, in a Gemini, she's ready to go and talk about it, you know, she's ready to go and identify and, you know, be chatty and tell everyone and like, okay, well, in order to have these needs met, I need to go out there and ask for it, right? I need to share this information that I now have because how else people are going to know? So, um like just another interesting thing that actually is happening because as we have all these connections between you know sun and mars uh, sun and jupiter being in a sign of uh, aries we look at uh, mars who is the ruler ruler uh, mars is in a sign of cancer so that's supportive and then uh, we look at moon and as we know moon is constantly changing it stays in one sign for about two and a half days and actually today moon entered the sign of capricorn and Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. And the interesting thing is that Saturn is still in a sextile, which is a positive, supportive aspect with North Node. And North Node is in Taurus, so it takes us back to Venus. So it's like, as I said, everything is very deeply interconnected. All the planets are in communications. And the placements of planets at the moment right now, that is no coincidence. They all placed exactly in a perfect places to support this process, this process that we are all in as human collective to help us to prepare for this massive acceleration that is coming with this Pluto in Aquarius that is proper going to hit us next year. So as just mentioned, Moon is now in a sign of Capricorn. So that is supporting this new beginning. Like how do we want to identify this going forward because uh, Capricorn offers structure, definition. It's something that is created to uh, like make us feel safe, boundaries. So moon in Capricorn, now it's like, okay, now feel into this, what is important to you, what matters to you, what do you believe, how are you thinking about your reality and how is this going to build, manifest this new reality you want to visualize for yourself that you want to experience. We will have some uh, conjunct in Neptune soon, so actually next week. So this is going to help us even more, right? But that is for another, for another conversation. But Moon actually, as soon now as it moved into the sign of Capricorn, right today, it's going to make a positive aspect to Saturn. So sextile, so they support in each other again, you know, like how do you want to create this new life for yourself? And where, what do you need to let go of? And what do you need to, what aspect of yourself wants, you want to bring back, you know, into like the aspect of ourselves that perhaps we forgot about because they weren't part of our life until this point. How many people now married with kids go like, oh my gosh, I forgot when I was younger, I loved doing this. And now I don't have time. I forgot about 
you know, I, I love to paint and now I don't have time. Like, you know, like life happens and then we want to retrieve this lost aspect of ourselves that we had to abandon for whatever reason, but they actually gave us a sense of happiness. So why not bring it back? Why not bring this lost aspect back and let go of something that, you know what, this really is a dread for me. I don't want to do it anymore. So why not let go of that and bring something old back? And this is the supportive aspect. And at the same time, Moon actually is making the harmonious aspect, which we call trine, to the North Node, because it's this Earth element. And that's again, North Node is our evolutionary potential so where we heading and that's again to help us to find this this self-love this connection to nature this connection to ourselves this connection to who we are and what we came here to experience so there is a lot of positive things happening in the sky right now of course there are you know there is this continuous square to pluto to nodes but that's for another conversation but right now today on the 11th of april 11th is the master number when we add all the digits of today's date, 11th of the 4th makes 15, 1 and 5 is 6, and we are in a year 7, 2023 is 7. Uh, so we have actually, if we don't break it down, if we, well, 6 is the number of harmony, but if, if we keep 11 and the 4th is 15, and add the 7 is 22. So there's double master number. Today is the day 11th master number. And if we add all the digit of today's date, we get number 22, which is another master number. So there is not a coincidence. There is no such a thing as coincidence. There is not a coincidence that today, on this day, we have this harmonious aspect, which are supporting us, which are helping us, which are inviting us into this this preparation for what is yet to come for all of us, every single person on this planet, because that's what we're heading towards in this age of Aquarius, during this transit Pluto in uh, Aquarius, which will be going on until 2044. So this is a preparation. And next week we are having an eclipse, second new moon in Aries on the 29 degrees. So it's again about culminations and new beginning. 29 degrees is the end of the sign. So I think I'm going to leave it with that because this video is again long. <laughs> but I just wanted to acknowledge these powerful uh, positive energies that are available to us today, right now and going forward because nothing is just for one day and then it's over, right? And this is a preparation for the eclipse. And eclipses are very fated. It's an energy that... Uh, could be very unpredictable it's got a long lasting effect so this preparation that is happening right now is to help us to serve us uh, for whatever is yet to come so i leave it at that guys i hope that any of you found the value in this information uh, please comment share share your experience what you are going through i'm sure that everyone is feeling this on certain level in certain area of life a lot of people are going through a lot of stuff, releasing a lot of stuff, questioning a lot of stuff. And uh, it's, it's, it's a process. We are all on this path together. Uh, it might be manifesting in a different ways uh, for individuals, but we are all tapping into the same energy. So you are not alone. So um, if you like this video, please do like, subscribe to my channel, share if you think somebody else would find a value in this. And yeah, if you would like to con connect and perhaps have a reading with me, I put all the information in the description below. And uh, until later, guys, we'll speak again soon. Much love to everyone. Bye.